to enable that Oak presents mathematical literacy, scales, maps and plans, lesson number 4. We are still using Everything Maths's work from everythingmaths.co.za and you are welcome to go to their website and click on Read Textbook and Read Maths Literacy Textbook um, to access the work that we are busy using. Right, we are uh, looking at floors, plans and explaining different um, symbols. Okay, we will study four plans and symbols in more details in a later chapter, but for the next work example, it's important to understand that symbols are often used on maps as a shorthand way of representing information. Some symbols that you may be familiar with are lifts, escalators, stairs, toilets, restaurants, and disabled access. So study the map of the shopping center and answer the question. So this is a shopping center. Why do you think checkers and pick and pay are the same color? Between which two shops will you find an escalator? If you um, want to go to the gym, which entrance would you use and explain why? If the gym is on the ground floor, explain. If you're an owner at a store, what shop would you choose for your shop and explain why which entrance would you use to use a public phone whoa we don't find them in lots of places anymore um, by which entrance can you uh, can disabled parking be found give a possible reason why the this shopping center has four ATMs explain why the kiosk where the kiosks are situated you enter the shopping center from G3. Where is G3? Soup, soup, soup. G2, G3. You need to withdraw money from an ATM machine um, at shop 32A, which is right there. Um, sorry, that says ATM, ATM. ATM and ATM, they're printed quite small, give directions to explain how you would get there. Exercise 3, navigating a shopping mall. Okay, so this is a map of a shopping mall. You want to go to shop 37 to buy shoes. What store will you find next to it? Um, what does G51 Woolworths mean on this map? There. Do you think the shopping center has more than one floor? Explain your answer. Where should you park if you want to go to Fornos Bakery, buy some fresh bread? Name the two stores you could buy a station from and describe how would you get from to each of them from entrance one. Where's entrance one here? If you're at entrance two, explain how you get to the toilets. You are standing at the entrance of this scheme. Your friend arrives at entrance five and wants to meet you, give your friend direction, explain where you will, uh, where they will find you. And then the end of chapter activity, quite a couple of questions, but it's good you now have a solid background and this is how you can redeem yourself. Okay, Use the number scale and estimate the actual size of the room in meters. So it's, um, you, you can't use your ruler, the scale is incorrectly, but it's 15 and 13 centimeter. Where is the door of, th of the room, to the room? Is it possible to calculate how the windows, how high the windows are? Calculate the width of curtaining that would be required for both windows. And the windows are seven centimeters and five centimeters. Um, yeah, you can't use your ruler, but you can use the scale. Rearrange the furniture in this room to help you. You can draw and cut out the same size shapes, draw the basic structure of the room, Use the shapes and paste them into your room. Okay, problem number two. The following is a walled daycare facility. Um, um, the 
health and safety regulations require that the swimming pool has a fence around it. The fence must be a minimum of 1,5 meters from the pool. The fence must run from the left boundary wall um, between the pool and the playground. So it's here, the left boundary wall. Um, around the bottom of the pool and then between the pool and the lawn to the top boundary wall. For, um, for the, uh, it means it goes around the bottom and the right side of the pool. Calculate the minimum amount of fencing required. So you want um, the pool and the playground to there. So there's your fencing. Describe the position of the swimming pool in relation to the other buildings. Where would you dig a flower bed for the daycare facility? Explain why. Um, a would a room with a dimension 7 meters by 11 meters fit inside the community hall? Use your calculations to justify your answer. So would a 7 by 11 meter room fit in here? Um, and then question 5. Describe where you would put a pathway that would link all the facilities together. Um, you are given the following information. This is a room that's 3.6 meters by 4.2. The window is 1.2 meters. The door is 1.2 meters. The desk is 120 centimeters at, by 180 centimeters. Chair is 60 by 60 and the bookshelf is 1,5 meters. Use a scale and draw it and arrange the furniture in a sensible manner. Problem number four is a seating plan. And here it is. Um, it's a seating plan for Hillvale Theatre. Uh, why are there only 18 seats in row J? There's row J. Uh, your ticket indicates that you must sit in C17. Which entrance will you use? There are three seats on your right between you and your friend. What is your friend's number? That's C17. How many rows between B and J? How many seats in the theater? Your school wants to attend the stage production and you prescribe uh, of your prescribed English book, there are 30 people in your class. If the first person sits in C D5 and the class take up row, the row D to D20 and seats from the beginning of E to E, where will the last person sit if the seats are set filled consecutively, which means right next to each other? What percentages of the seats will your class of 30 fill? Why are some rows labeled AA to FF? Uh, do you think the seats on the balcony are uh, wheelchair accessible? What ratio total numbers of seats on the balcony seats? How many seats will still be available if four out of five of the four fifths of the seats are sold? The cost of the tickets uh, of the stalls is 200 Rand. If the school groups get 10% discount, how much will your classes 30 tickets cost the school? And then uh, stadium. Describe where the players would enter the field. Are the blocks numbered in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction? Your seat is in 35. Uh, what entrance would you use and um, to get your seat? The south entrance is closest to block 35. What is this in? Where is this entrance? How many blocks are there in the purple category? What percentage of the blocks are red? If you, I assume that's red. If your friend is sitting in block 25 and you're on one of the blue blocks, describe where you're on relation to your friend. Problem six, you are given the following ticket prices for the upcoming uh, rugby match. Which are the cheapest seats? Where are you going to buy s three tickets for yourself and your friend in the blue category? How much uh, will it cost? Hmm. Is it that? You decide that three tickets in the blue category is going to be too expensive and you'd rather sit in the orange stalls. How much will three orange category tickets cost? I have no idea. I think this is the stadium. But I have no idea what this means. Well, if you, well, let's look at the answers and then we'll 
look at the question again and then seven this is a shopping mall for problem seven study the shopping mall below and answer the questions so this is a shopping mall how would you expect to be able to what do you expect to do in shop number one four eight where is one four eight there how many baby changing rooms are there in the lower level and where are they okay describe how would you get from entrance four to Truitts? where's entrance four there and near which entrance would you park if you wanted to shop at Chopra Checkers and Ackermans? What would be a good meeting point for you and your friends? Explain your answer. Give three reasons why you would assume that this is a multi-level shopping center. And that concludes Maps and Scales. Thank you very much.